Let's play Shantae. I'm Brick Road. I'm your player this evening. We just warped back to Oasis Town. We're going to try to get on with the plot. Head off to Pointy Mountain, which is off to... Where did Sky say it was? East or West? I, no, I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. Wuss. Let's go talk to Sky. Sky is the one who told us where we needed to go next. So, I think she knows what the score is. Hey, Sky, what's up? Tell us where to go, please. East. Oh, you know what? It is way back by the zombie caravan. I got east and west mixed up. Brick Road is dumb. Wah, wah, wah. Again. Okay, no problem. Let's we'll back to the zombie caravan and we will walk that way. Uh, down, up, left, left, A, Y. Down, up, left, left, A, Y, B, Y, A, Y. Wait, wait a minute. I get all confused. My A and B are mixed up. That's not good times. Down, up, left, left, B, A is the button. Down, up, left, left. B. There we go. That'll do it. Send me back on to the zombie caravan. And so east of here. Burkro does not know east from west. And that's the truth. Oy vey. Didn't we just come through here? If I knew the difference between east and west, yeah, we wouldn't have to come through here again. I would know better. <sighs> I'm a little bit tired tonight, actually. I should probably went to bed after recording the previous video, but I didn't. I said, you know what, I got one more in me! And it's not just going to be one more, it's going to be like 13 more, because I'm going to go through here and I'm going to find another town or another dungeon, and that's going to be four more videos going through another dungeon. No problem. I've actually played this whole game so far in just one long weekend. Labor Day weekend, 2008. Weekend that lived in infinity because that was Brick Road's Let's Play Shantae weekend. You know what, though, guys? I am all for any game that can be cleared um, within a weekend. I, I love playing games, but it's, games are too long and they just drag on and on. But you know what? A game that can be uh, put down in a weekend that's a good game there. Two of the most, the two of the best examples I can think of are for, uh, the jumping in the whole game. That's one of my favorites. In fact, that's been one of my favorites since way, way back in the NES days. Anytime you can jump in a hole, you get five points, and the first person to 300 points wins. I'm a, I'm a world champion. I mean, there's a tournament every year to jump in holes, and whoever jumps in the most holes win. And I won the. the third place last year. I didn't do very well. Well, I was out of practice for one thing. I hadn't had a lot of practice recently. I, I've mentioned before that I play a lot of Super Metroid. That's my favorite game ever. So, Super Metroid doesn't have bottomless pits. Like, every, no matter where you fall, you just fall down to the next area in the world. There's nothing. So, a lot of Super Metroid is great, but it doesn't really help me practice for let's all jump in the hole. Anyway, I was talking about short games that can be killed in a weekend. Two of the best examples I can think of from the PlayStation area are Parasite Eve and Metal Gear Solid. Those two games are perfect for beating in four, at a 48 hour period. Very, very easy to complete in that short amount of time. And the more you play them and the better you learn them, the more fun they get, in my experience. Go away. Both of those games have sequels, but the sequels, while fun, they're just, they don't stack up to the originals in terms of replayability. I mean, sure, it's uh, Metal Gear Solid and Parasite Eve, the sequels. I guess you might make a case for them being better games than the originals, but in terms of replayability, you don't beat the original Metal Gear Solid. I, I beat the original Metal Gear Solid. I've beaten it probably three dozen times, at least. 
and because of exactly that, you can kill the game in eight hours. And that's that's a Saturday afternoon right there, man. That's you you know you wake up at maybe the crack of noon, run out and get you a burger and a six pack of Pepsi, and there you go, you're set. By the time midnight rolls around, you've finished Metal Gear Solid once again. I'm still convinced that those statues are something. They will do something for me. I think. That's my... I'm guessing. Because they're... They just seem very out of place in the graveyard, you know? Like, I'm gonna talk to an NPC later that's gonna give me, like, one of those Castlevania clues. Elephant stomp outside the sixth statue. And by sixth statue, he means twelfth statue, and you don't know that. So you systematically elephant stop by every single statue until you finally find the one that works. We're on our way to Pointy Mountain. How pointy is it? I don't recall. It's, oh, it's, it's frankly a little embarrassing how little of this game I remember. I thought that I would plug this back in and it would all come back to me and be wonderful. It didn't. It's just keep drawing blanks. Here and there, bits and pieces of it are being jogged in my faulty, stupid brick road memory, but by and large, it's been an, almost a new game. I've got to I've got to watch that. Like for my next LPs, I'm going to have to really keep an eye on that and make sure that I don't start a game that I really don't know that well. This game is turning out to be more difficult than I remembered it, more complicated. It's turning out to take a lot longer than I remembered it taking. So maybe that's okay though. Maybe it's a different experience for me than my previous ones. Maybe it's the kind of experience you enjoy seeing in a Let's Play project. And if that's the case, I'm glad that I could help you out. But I don't think I'll be doing it again. I think this will be the last time that I play a game semi-blind like this. Okay, last time I jumped straight down there and it was a freaking hole. This time... Wolves! I hate wolves! Go away, wolf! There we go. I got him. I kicked him in the face. Oh, you know what? See, this is why I bought a bunch of vials. So I could save my lives. I got Vilo. Cool. Drink up, Shantae. And then unequip it so you don't accidentally waste one later. There we go. See, like, I... I remember these wolves a little bit. Ice turtle that shoots fire, because that makes a lot of sense. Uh oh. Monkey foam, we'll get up here. I'll grab the wall and climb it up. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this, guys. Hey, look at that. Spikes. You know, now that I think about it, is there another town up here? I don't remember. Hmm. Looks like we've got two more transformation, or two more transformation, teleportation spells coming up. One of which is for uh, Watertown, but I just haven't had the squids to turn in there yet. And another one for what looks like a Tinker Bat, one of Risky Boots' little minions. Hey, I'll save my game here. This might actually be a good stopping place right here on Pointy Mountain. We'll pick it up next time and try to make our way towards the next town or the next dungeon or whatever's coming up. See you here.